In this video, I will show the connection of FPDDTX transmitter and receiver. The transmitter parameter configuration tool needs an extra 12 volts power input. The transmitter also needs a 12 volts power input. The programmer screen shows the current transmitter parameters. Through the transmitter's programmer, you can modify the transmitter's frequency, bandwidth, password, etc. If you are using it for the first time, you don't need to change any parameters. The default setting is already the best and tested in the factory. Here is the receiver, which already has a small screen and buttons. The parameters here are the same as the transmitter. There are also SNR and PW values. SNR is signal quality and PW is signal strength. SNR and PW values are very important. You need to check these parameters frequently. The programmer and video input on the transmitter share the same input interface. So we first disconnect the power supply of the programmer. Remove the programmer and connect the video input cable. When operating, please remember to disconnect the power cord of the transmitter and do not operate it while it is powered on. Now we give the transmitter a video input signal. Then connect the power to the transmitter. We put the transmitter on a metal sheet to speed up the heat dissipation of the transmitter. On the drone, you can use the propeller to dissipate heat towards the transmitter. Wait a few seconds, and the video signal to appear on the receiver's display. The transmitter supports SD7 to OP video input, and the receiver supports HDMI 108 OP video output. The transmitter does not use HDMI input because SD has lower latency and faster encoding speed. As an FPV transmitter, low latency is more important than 108 OP image quality. Regarding the PW value of the receiver, this parameter can check whether the receiver has interference at the current frequency. There is no need to turn on the transmitter. You only need to connect the receiver antenna and power on to observe the PW value. If the PW value is minus 80, it means that the current environment interferes with the receiver antenna. If the PW value is minus 90, it means that the current environment is very clean and there is no interference to the receiver antenna. The SNR value will only be displayed after the transmitter is powered on. Generally, the SNR value is around 15 decibels, and the video signal is very stable. If the SNR value is less than 6 decibels, the video signal will freeze or disappear. We have replaced the video signal with the camera. The video picture is very stable and clean with no snowflakes or mosaics. 